Hi, John here from Sound Devices, and I'm going to import an 8-track polyway file into Final Cut 10 so we can take a look and see exactly how it behaves. So first let's go to Wave Agent, and we're going to take a look at this file. So let's take this 8-track file, throw it into Wave Agent. We see it's an 8-track poly. It has a start time code of 2245.22, 10 second length. So with that information, yeah, 48K, 30, non-drop. So with that information, let's go into Final Cut. Now we're going to right click. We're going to import files. We're going to navigate to that file, and you'll see that that path was already there. We've got a couple options. We can copy the files to the Final Cut events folder, which what that does is transfer it from the original media into the projects folder. So we're going to go ahead and do that. There's also some other tools here. We can create optimized media. That's for transcoding of the video assets, not necessarily for the audio assets. I don't really know exactly what analyze and fix audio problems means, but I'm going to guess that we're going to not want to do that because we're just importing you know, our, our pristine production double system sound files here. So we go import. We've got this file here, and it shows up in the clips list. And if I scrub over it, you'll hear the wonderful tones of a 1 kilohertz tone, which is what this file is, 10 seconds. If I right-click on it, we can reveal it in Finder, we can do some behavior, but basically by highlighting it, I can now see the information on that track. So here it shows me start time 22.45.22. We know it's a 10-second clip, duration 9, well, 20, 28 here. So, But it says audio channel count 2 knows the audio sampling rate, but that's a little odd because when we go in here, we can see that it's either four tracks stereo, that's kind of how it defaults to seeing it, or eight tracks of mono. There's no track naming or any of that, but it did see the timecode value. So that came in, although timecode, frame rate, and all that, who really knows exactly what's happening. Now here's the clip. Here's a clip from a uh, point-and-shoot still camera that I've got here with embedded audio. I can detach the audio, so now that track is a separate audio track, and now we can add our multi-track down to it. So now you're hearing that tone oscillator within here. Now if I highlight it, let's see what I can do. Uh, break apart clip items. Let's see what happens there. What that does is that splits it out into each individual mono track. So those are still grouped and are moved together as a group, but we've effectively split out each of the mono tracks. So that's really about the extent of what we can do with the sound files within a Final Cut session. One thing people have asked is what happens if we export the audio? Let's go ahead and do that. So I've got some very rudimentary controls here. Here's my advanced settings. But we're going to export a WAV file. And we're not going to open with whatever my default application is. So let's export the audio. Let's just go right back and export it as Gus Audio Exported. You can see I've already done a dry run of this here. So I'm going to save and replace. This is going to take a moment. So now I've got those files exported. So let's go back, open up Compact Flashcard. That's what I just exported. Let's open up Wave Agent and throw it in there. And now I see, well, start time code has been stripped, obviously. It's a zero because it's the start of the project, 48K. And it is a two-track poly file. So based on whatever my project settings are, and I'm not exactly sure where those project settings are, it output a two-track file. So we've got some very limited ability to get sound out of Final Cut Pro. So whatever comes in needs to be pretty much prepped and ready to go, which could cause some limitations with a workflow in a more comprehensive, flexible, double system sound environment. So that's uh, a very brief look at 
some of the audio handling at Final Cut Pro. I'm still getting my arms around it and learning. So hopefully this is helpful for you. Thanks.